a national supporter turned New Zealand first fan. Mark Patterson is the candidate standing for the Clutha Southland electorates. And he's not keen on Labour's water tax. It's a punitive tax. Uh, the people that are being asked to pay aren't necessarily the ones that are causing uh, the problems. He says to keep water quality up to scratch, proper farming management and good science are needed to ensure over intensification won't happen in some catchments. He's labelling Labour's beat tax as the poor cousin to New Zealand First's proposed tourists GST return, which would pay for tourism infrastructure. Returning the GST from international tourism revenue back to the, the area from which it was generated, which would massively um, uh, advantage Clutha Southland with, with the likes of Queenstown, Milford Sound. He says Clutha Southland tourism revenue of $2.49 billion has a GST component of $324 million, which he says dwarfs the money generated for Queenstown from the proposed beat tax. He would give priority to New Zealanders for jobs to train and employ the 92,000 young people who are unemployed and on the dole and send them back to work in the regions. He's in favour of reducing the number of immigrants going to Auckland and pumping them out to the regions. He's pro-choice and pro-euthanasia. The sheep and beef farmer from Lawrence says he would be keen to take up his skills and abilities. I've, I've seen outside the, the farm gate, so to speak. And walk into Parliament next week. Mina Amso, The South Today.